welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm talking about my current favorites so it is the month of june it is summertime here in san diego i love it so of course with the weather changing the products i love are going to be changing i've had to experiment again with it getting warmer things start to change your skin makeup hair everything starts to change you have to like kind of rearrange what you're using so let's go ahead and get into today's video Okay, so when I start these videos out, I always like to talk about skincare. That's always my favorite topic to talk about. So my first current favorite is this micro needle right here. I got this from T. I got this from TJ Maxx. I think I got it for like eight dollars. This is also called dermaplaning. I will actually leave the video where I use this roller up above so you guys can see a tutorial on that. But I have been loving this this past month. So the reason why I got this was because I heard that there were a lot of benefits with it with your skin. So the first one was with acne scarring. I don't really have too much, but from time to time we do all get blemishes and I do get a little scar. So I wanted to see if that helped revive that. It also said that this helps with wrinkles. Now, fortunately, I don't have that many wrinkles. I have one on my forehead and I feel like one between my eyes. And the whole purpose of this is to kind of like re-injure your skin. That way it helps produce collagen and elastin again. So that way it kind of fills up those pores and those fine lines and wrinkles. So I want to show that out. I haven't seen a difference with that. I'm really loving about this beauty tool right here is that I definitely feel like it helps your skincare penetrate deeper into the skin. Again, this is creating all these little fine holes into your skin. So it just it's going to allow skincare treatments, products, serums to really sink in deeper. And with that said, then I feel like my foundation just applies really nicely and evenly the next day and I love this now. So this is definitely a beauty tool that I only use in the evening. It does cause your skin to get a little red and irritated. So just know that I wouldn't do this before going out on a date or going to work or anything. Again, this is just really part of my skincare. So after this, your face is going to end up a little bit raw. I talk about it all in the video that I linked. So again, that's when you're really going to want to apply your skincare and just really take care of your skin. But this is something that I've been loving. And I use this about twice a week. I usually use it in the beginning and at the end of the week. Another skincare item I've been loving is coconut oil. So I use this to take off my makeup. Usually I have like a micellular water or something, but I ran out and I had coconut oil on hand. And this is what I've been using ever since. So I really feel like it takes off all my eyeshadow, all my mascara, all the eyelash glue. I feel like it just takes everything off. I've heard some people say that it like clogs their pores, but that doesn't do it for me. I literally like rub this all over my face and then right away I wash it away with my face wash. The one that I use by Skin Lab. You guys have heard me talk about that. I love this product because I just grab a little bit. I like kind of massage it and melt it into my hands and it melts all over. And I apply that to my face. I just rub it in and it's really gentle and it's just easy to take off. And again, this is super easy. I found this one at Sprouts. You guys can get this at Sprouts, Target online. It's super easy to go get. I heard that some people take their makeup off with like olive oil or something, but I like the smell of coconut oil and I like the way it feels and I just feel like it really does the job well. Another skincare favorite of mine is this Prudia Citrus Brightening Serum. Now, this is kind of a new favorite, as in like two weeks new favorite, but I have been loving this. I apply this at nighttime, and it's definitely a brightening serum because the next day I feel like my skin just looks refreshed and brightened, and I love that. So again, I've been enjoying putting this at nighttime. I apply it every day. I've talked about this before. I'm oily, so I don't feel like this gets... I don't feel like this makes me any more oily. I've actually never heard of this product before. I think it's really popular in Japan. I found this again at TJ Maxx just because I like the packaging and I picked it up. But this has tangerine peel in it and that is rich in vitamin C. And in return, that definitely helps with the recovery of the skin and whitening and brightening your skin. So I've been really enjoying that. And I feel like it just gives my skin this like even complexion that's just really flawless. So again, it just makes it easier like for the days that you don't want to wear those days that you don't want to wear makeup, you just feel like confident and ready to go. So I love skin products that just do that and just make you feel better, more confident in your own skin. So I've been really enjoying this product right here. So I'll make sure to leave them linked down below. Okay, it is summertime. So I know a lot of us are going to want to be tan and glowy for summer. I totally understand that. And I've talked about this before. This is the Self Tanning Firming Daily Moisturizer for to medium skin tones. I grabbed this one at Target. I've talked about this in my favorites before, but I just thought I would mention it again because I got a new bottle and I've already been using it and I love it. But my favorite part of it is that I use it in conjunction with this. This is just a Moisture Care Cocoa Divine Body Oil Gel. I, I think I got this from Walmart. 
So I love this. What I love to do is apply this at night time and let this just really sink into my skin. And then in the morning while I'm taking my shower, I apply a small amount onto my legs right before I get out of the shower. And then when as soon as I get out of the shower, I don't really dry my legs. I kind of just let them air dry and this just sits and sinks into the skin. And then your legs kind of just have like this glowy highlight effect. I don't know. So I love these two together. I think this one is just, oh, it says that it's comparable to the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant by Eliza Gel. Again, I think I just got this one because it was cheaper, so just so you know, it works just as well, and I love it, and it smells so good. To me, it just smells like summer, because it's definitely that coconut fresh smell. So again, these two together are just definitely, I think this is like my main favorite, of course, because we want to be tan and glowy for summer, so I've been loving these two together. Okay, now with summer, the most important thing is deodorant. I know not everyone likes to wear deodorants, there's a lot of different... Uh, ideas on that, but I like to wear deodorant, and I have seen this brand native all over Instagram. I think they just sent out a lot of PR packages, so I saw this all over Instagram. But I actually got this in a Target unboxing that I did. I'll leave that link above for you guys. And I was like, oh, man, I'm gonna see that for traveling because it's so small. Well, I ended up using it because I loved it. I love the smell. It's a lavender and rose smell, and la and this little size lasted about three weeks, so that was awesome. I've I run out so I have to go pick up another one but this is something that I really love this contains coconut oil and shea butter so it's just really smooth on your skin it doesn't leave any white residue and for something like this that's like paraben free I just thought that like it might not hold up but it definitely holds up during the day because I compare that to my clinical what is it my secret clinical strength deodorant and that one is like that holds up all day like literally all day and this one held up all day too so i was actually really surprised it's cruelty free they have a whole bunch of different scents but this one's a lavender and rose one and i was really enjoying this one and i just like again i like the way that i could just felt underneath my armpits because it was just so smooth and soft so i've been really enjoying this too okay let's move on to makeup now I am so excited about this right here. I have used this every single day since I got it, and it's been for like a month now. And this plays my Anastasia palette, and you guys knew that I love that. I used that for like a whole year. Like, I didn't want to grab anything else. Well, I grabbed the Morphe 36, 350 palette, excuse me, <laughs> and I love it. I mean, look at these colors. They are gorgeous, and I've already done a review on this, so again, I'll link that up above for you guys. But these colors are so beautiful. Seriously, this is definitely one of my favorite palettes. And it was only 24 bucks. You can find this at Ulta or online. So I'll link everything for you guys. And it's just so pigmented. Everything's so pigmented and creamy. And it's fun to play with. And I have loved this. This is literally my go-to palette every single day. I love it because I can use it for like a day that like no makeup, makeup look or for work or date night or going out with your girls. This has you covered. Definitely, there's a wide range of colors here. Everything's warm tone, very sultry and smoky for summer. So this is definitely a favorite of mine. My next makeup favorite is this mascara right here. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. Now, I don't even know why I would pick this up. I think I just picked it up on a whim. I think, again, it's probably the packaging. I'm like a big sucker when it comes to packaging and I just like this purple mascara. <laughs> so I picked it up, wall, huh. I love it. It is definitely a lengthening mascara for sure. Usually I'm one to wear false lashes. I love false lashes, but during the summer, that's not really what I like to do. I want something that's quick, something where I really don't have to take so much time to get ready. And I've definitely been trying to grow out my eyelashes. So I just want mascaras that are gonna really make them pop. And so this does a trick. I really like it because it leaves them really thick. And this color is in very black, and it is. It's like pitch black on your eyelashes. I love that, and they make your lashes super long, and they just look so pretty. It definitely has that fan effect. So this is my favorite. The only thing I have to say about this is that it takes a while to dry. Like, I have applied this and sneezed, and then it's all over me, and then it sucks to clean up. But it's still worth it. I totally love this mascara, and oh, and it was only $3. Crazy, right? Three dollars for a bomb mascara. You can't beat that. I am loving it. Okay, so let's move on to hair favorites. Now, I don't really talk about shampoos too much. I'm not really. I usually stick to like what I know or what I like. And for the longest time, I was using a Matrix shampoo and I loved it. But one day, I had to just run into a store and I picked something up. And I picked up this Dove Nourishing Rituals Thickening 
shampoo with lavender oil and rosemary extract oh my god I love it this is my second bottle it is the second month I think I've been using it and I love it like this scent is like, beyond my favorite I think I just have a, like a really big thing for lavender right now or like this past sticker I have like I love anything that smells like lavender aka the deodorant I talked about earlier as well well this just smells so good and I feel like it just like really cleans your well it should clean your hair it's shampoo but it just like really like cleans out like it doesn't leave any residue or like that gunk that some shampoos can and it really does feel like my hair just seems thicker and fuller so I love that and it's just something I've been enjoying it's just I think it's just about like the experience when I use it because I just think like the smell and like the smell lasts through your hair all day like my, sometimes my hair just whips and then I can like get it and then I get like a whip of myself and I'm like hey I smell good like it's just in my hair and it smells so good so I definitely have been loving this, this Dove Ritual Shampoo so my last favorite of this month has been this Numi wand right here it's what I curled my hair with today I have been loving this so I definitely like using a wand in the summer one because my curls seem to last longer when I use the wand like I can go about two or three days when I use a wand like they really stay intact and for whatever reason like I don't know if this happens to you guys but whenever I use a wand my hair doesn't seem as oily maybe because I'm not fidgeting with it as much like it kind of just stays in place but I love that and in the summertime I just like this like messy beachy mermaid look so this is definitely the wand I've been going to. It is a one inch and I love this brand new me. So I've had this for about two years and it's just something that I can always reach for. It's dependable. It's a great brand. I've done a tutorial on this as well. I'll leave that linked above. And actually, I did a get ready with me recently where I use this as well so you guys can see how I did. So you guys can see how I curled my hair. But this is just a staple of mine. Like I'm so glad to have this wand. I actually think that they're definitely worth the investment. I think they're about like $100. But we're going on two years and it's still going strong. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. So those were all the products that I have been loving currently. Again, this definitely was geared more towards summer. Again, it getting warmer. Everything just starts to change. So again, the products that you use aren't going to be the same ones that you use in winter and fall. You have to change it up. And that's actually what I'm looking forward to this season is to trying out new products and seeing what really is going to be working this season for me. So in the bottom down below, tell me what your favorite skincare item is for the summer. Because I definitely want to try out new ones. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.